Welcome back to Blackwater Fishing. I'm Bryce. We're here in the boat inside the garage back with our monthly mystery tackle box versus our monster bass challenge. And if you recall, mystery tackle box is actually winning three to two. It's month six, so that means it's June. So let's go ahead and see who can actually take the win for this month. To start things off for our head-to-head -head competition, we normally look at the shipping speed. And in case you forgot, this is what I had to say about the shipping speed already. That is really surprising. It is not every day that I get both of these boxes at the exact same time. This is me. Truly a surprise to me. I had no idea that they would both arrive at the same time, but I did receive the email notifications, which is why, of course, I was recording. I'm not that much of a weirdo where I go and I just record every time I open the mailbox. I did happen to know that they were both in there, but still very surprised. So let's get into our mystery tackle box, which happens to be the leader right now. And this is the first one that we always seem to open. Okay, so as we open it, I'll let you guys see here without having anything fall out. Um, of course, we always talk about the documentation. It is not on top, but this box is actually packed pretty nicely. Uh, I've got no complaints about the way that it's actually packaged other than trying to get that manual on top. And I'm honestly not sure why that even matters so much. I think I just like it that, you know, they put that in at the end just to let them know that they've done everything. But overall, the box is packaged nicely. So the first thing that we have inside here is a Thunderhawk grass jig. And so this is, uh, you can tell by the, uh, I'll get it closer. You can tell by the head on there that this is a swim jig. Uh, very interesting colors and it's a uh, quarter ounce. Um, so yeah, I personally, um, all the jigs that I use, I personally use from Motley Fishing. Uh, they are really, quali really great quality. They are one of my sponsors, so this is the shameless plug but uh, I do use Motley Fishing. I will link their site in the description below, but I will give those jigs a try. Okay, the next item that we have is, uh, we've got a crankbait. Um, we're trying to look at it. Uh, we've got a crankbait, it's the CD2 from Jenko Fishing. Um, I have a couple of these bef before, um, not this color, but I love crankbaits, so I don't really care what color they come in, I'm gonna use them. The next item that we have in the box is the Lunker Hunt turbine you can see there it's a black and blue uh, top water it's got a blade that's black which I don't really see that often and then it's got this little thing that they call a clacker blade I've never used one like this before um, so we'll throw this in our gear bag and we'll give that a uh, go the next item oh that's interesting uh, it's a it's a Yozuri it is the 3db and it's a pencil and it's a floating uh, basically uh, floating walk the dog bait kind of looks like a frog to be honest with you um it's five incher and it doesn't actually oh yeah there it goes on the very very back it is called the prism frog and it's got number two size hooks um very interesting paint job the bait is actually see-through or well the bait is actually transparent so you can see everything through here but it's got a really nice reflective reflector on the inside the next item that we have inside the box are the Z-Man Streaks three and three quarter inches. This is the Smoky Shad. So it's really hard to talk about this bait um, for a number of reasons. Um, mainly being that this is really one of my go-to sneaky baits that I use really for drop shotting when I can't catch uh, fish on anything else. I use these. Um, so you know the brand, you know the type of my sneaky bait, but this is not the color that I use. Close, but not the color that I use. I'm gonna keep that one for me. Um, but to give you guys two out of the three pieces of the puzzle, these are probably my favorite drop shot baits ever. The next item that we have in the box are these Realist Booster Wakes, you can see there. These are definitely from the Japanese market. And they look remarkably like Makai Tex, um, except for the uh, funky colors. Um, I can't really talk about the quality because they're inside here, so I can't tell what kind of plastic they are, but 
No, honestly, 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 I would never buy anything that looked like that. Um, it looks like a color crayon, maybe a piece of lipstick, a piece of candy. Even it doesn't, it doesn't look real enticing. I wouldn't say that it doesn't look real because the the definition on the baits are actually pretty good as far as the ribs and the tail, but. This color to me looks like a toy. Um, I honestly probably would never buy these, but I will give them a try. The next thing that we have in here is the Arc. We got the lipless, uh, it's the 58 crankbait. There we go. And this is their Ghost Minnow. Um, I think I have one of these. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think I've got one in one of these boxes before. Um, I know I, I have plenty of these arcs, but I'm talking mainly about the color. Um, I think I have this color. I, I don't really know, but this is definitely going into the box. Uh, of course, because I love cranking, no matter if it's lipless, uh, deep crank, or even the jerkbait, even though it's kind of not really a crankbait, but it still operates the same principle. Okay, the next thing we have is the X-Zone Stealth Invader. There. Um, I haven't seen these from X-Zone before, but uh, these look like they would be a very good drop shot. And of course, if I actually read it, you know, it says you got a drop shot, Ned Rig, and a swim head. Uh, so, pretty interesting. Uh, the color that they call this is, again, the Stealth Limit. Uh, excuse me, the Stealth Invader. And it looks like it is the Big Limit color. I don't know what Big Limit would mean as far as color. Um, obviously we all want to get big limits, but this, this bait actually does have a lot of nice definition. It's got some pretty subtle fins on top. So I think that this would be actually pretty good. So we'll give that a try as well. We're going to try everything. So I don't know why I keep saying that. Okay. And then we've got our Mustad hooks. These are four aught. Um, these are really good to start getting now around this time. Cause as we move into July, August and September, uh, pretty much it's going to be on fire. Those small fish are now slightly bigger and everything's going to be active and tearing things up. So if you want to kind of target the fish that you actually want to catch rather than the small ones, you're going to need bigger gear. Uh, usually gear that's bigger than that fish or that fish is going to attack it. And so in this case, I'm referring to like, you know, the 8 to 11 to 12 inch fish. Um, we don't want those. We want 12 and up. As far as inches um, and so we're gonna need to use something fairly big uh, and four aughts we'll get it done okay then inside here we've got the sticker this is the feeding hungry bass sticker let's get it closer we've got our manual here which is what's in there and then our card this month it actually talks about the uh, X-Zone Stealth Invader well, that's gone, but it actually talks about it. I kind of briefly saw that it showed you how to use it on all three of those setups that we mentioned, the drop, the net, and the swim head. So overall, I'd say that this box was fairly decent. Um, no, you know, I'll take that back. Oh, I would say overall, this box was actually good. Um, there's some very interesting pieces in here. And if you couldn't tell, my least favorite one is this. Um, I've never used it before, but just looking at, like I said, is my least favorite. And my two favorites, um, as far as hard baits, would be the CD2 and then the uh, the LP58. I don't remember which way it goes, just because I love cranking. But if we're going to talk about soft baits, um, you already know, this is my favorite sneaky soft bait that I use on drop shots at all times um, when the fishing gets really slow. So, you know, if I had to rate that box out of a 10, I'd probably give it an eight. So now it's time to get into our Monster Bass box. And last month I beat them up pretty bad about the state of the box. It was the first time I received it in a disarray. Um, but I also beat them up pretty bad on their shipping speed. I don't know if they actually watched the videos, uh, but if they did, Fantastic, they improved the shipping speed. I actually think this was shipped by DHL then handed off to the post office rather than the typical FedEx and then handed off to the post office. But I'm not 100% sure. But either way, I know it was here at the same time as our mystery tackle box. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it's got for us this month. So we're back to the regular package style where everything is inside. So. Right now, both boxes did pretty well with the packaging. So this month, the theme is going to be the bite is best on top. And I think for the most part, we can kind of gather the same thing from the Mystery Tackle Box. We've got two very definite top water baits over there in the Mystery Tackle Box. 
So let's see what we have in here compared to them. So let's get this thing out of here. We've got a buzz frog uh, by Blitz Lures. You can see it's going to be really hard to see. It's almost like black in here. I can barely even see it against the background. Um, the color is brown rattler. Uh, but I can tell you that this thing looks black and it's got very big tails on the back. Um, so interesting frog design. So the next thing we have is Hyperlastics, and this is the uh, Pro Sinking. See there? And I don't use these very often, but if you have used these, then you probably know what they are. Um, but as you can see, there's a little, yeah, as you can see, there's a little blade here on the front, and that makes this really a spy bait. So you would really just move this through the water, that blade would kick up, and this kind of allows you to find out where they're at. Um, but unlike most spy baits, this is not a hard bait. This is actually a very, very stretchy plastic uh, with the hook embedded in the top of the body. Um, so, good lure, not one that I use all the time, but nothing bad to say about it. And then, <clears throat> in this box, we have a ARC TP70, so this is a topwater popper, um, and this is the baby bass. This will actually probably do some serious damage this month. Then, we've got a jerk bait here. This is a floating, this is the banger 110 by Bruiser Baits, that thing, there you go. And this is the Jerk Blue. I actually have one that looks almost identical to this that actually is not this brand, but the only difference between the one that I already have, it has spots on the side, so it kind of looks like a trout. And it's what I caught one of my big bass in tournaments on, um, just in the middle of winter, just threw it out there because nothing else is working and I hooked the monster. Um, so. That'll get some use, probably. Okay, and then, this one's hard to see, let's move it out of the way. All right, then we have the Razor Prop Knocker. This is a spinner bait. see there. And this is white and chartreuse, and it's 3 8 ounce. And one thing I can say is that in both of these boxes, um, not just for this month, just in general, you normally don't see too many spinner baits in these boxes. You see like a lot of uh, the top water, um, buzz baits and stuff but actual true spinner baits i think maybe out of all the boxes i've been getting for probably the last two or three years i've probably only got maybe one spinner bait before okay the next item that we have is the vicious fishing this is the tournament series these are soft body frogs um they had the same tail design as the other frog that we had um but just as a package in general this thing is pretty hefty um there's no information on here about the size or color, but this is a green pumpkin with red flake. I don't know how heavy these things are, but these feel pretty girthy. So basically what you would do with these, and they've got a little notch on the body, you would you would hook this up, you could do it weightless, or you could use a um, belly weighted hook if that's what you wanted to do. And you could throw this right through those uh, grass mats, lily pads, all that thick cover, and get it under the pad a little bit in case the bass are kind of sitting um, suspended or they're actually on the bottom of those pads. Um, interesting though. Then we have the Big Bite Baits Tour Series Kamikaze Simmons Split Tail. Uh, there you go. Uh, I don't really use big baits that much. I have a whole wall full of them because they seem to get them all the time. Here, let's see. Uh, uh, but to me, with the split tail, this thing kind of looks like a squid. So I don't know how effective this is actually going to be. Okay, and then we have a package of hooks. These are from Sandbar Tackle. These are the... What size are these? And... Oh, these are five odd hooks and it got a five pack there. Okay, and then we've got the Monster Bass sticker here. Um, not sure what the colors are supposed to represent. It is Pride Month, I believe. So maybe this is their take on that. I'm not sure. And wow, this is this is their golden ticket this month. And it's just a regular piece of paper. Yeah, uh, normally they give you like on cardstock. This is like a regular piece of paper with some heavy duty ink on here. It's kind of depressing. <laughs> okay, so speaking about this box, overall, 
the thing that I am actually most excited about using is the jerk bait. And that's very close. <laughs> um, and the thing I'm le least excited about are these. Because I, I will give these a try. Hand to the sky. But I don't believe that these are going to catch anything. Um, so, you guys are... Uh, I don't know how people are feeling, but as far as our battle, but to remind you again, we have three wins over here, two wins over here, and if I had to rate this box out of 10, I would give it uh, probably a five, um, which means that Mystery Tackle Box is again gonna take the win, so now we're at four wins to two wins, and no, not that this box was bad, but if I was going to be a critic of this box, this is what I would tell you, no. Um, I haven't used them before, but no, I would never buy that. I would never recommend any, anybody buy that. Um, like I said, it just looks like a squid and it's white. Not much I can really say other than that. Then, we've got basically two frogs of the same design. Yeah, they're used for different applications, but they're basically the same design. Then, I think that this is going to be decent. This is going to definitely catch some fish for you. Um, I don't use these often, so I can't really comment. Old technology, you can actually pick these up fairly cheap. I wouldn't actually put this in a, a box that I was putting together. Oops. Haven't used the hooks before, so I can't tell you about the quality, but I, I am aware of the, who they are. Um, I would put spear points in there, that's just me. Um, or if I was going to do EWG hooks, I would probably put owner's hooks. Um, and then, you know, sticker's a sticker. And so, yeah, so there you have it. There's not much else I can say about the boxes other than I think Mystery Tackle Box did um, a lot better this month about their selections of what they put in the, the box. Um, there's a lot of diversity in there, not so much diversity in there. And I'm wearing my favorite Black Widow fishing sweater. Uh, it's a hoodie, dual color. I will leave a link in the description that'll take you to our spread shop where you can purchase this or any other merchandise you would like to pick up. It really supports the channel and allows me to continue making these great unboxing videos now that it seems to be really what I'm doing for the most part. Um, and it kind of helps support the actual tournament fishing as well as the fishing that we put out for content on the video. So I do appreciate you taking the time to even look at it. So that's it for now. Catch you next time.